Guys, welcome to another episode of Wrench. It is day three of the Thrash to Get to the Lit Show. We are actually on the way to the Lit Show. It is 5.02 a.m. The engine is already at the hotel. We have a pile of stuff we have to bring to the event. One little hitch is they've told us that we may not have power, which would be a big deal because I have a monitor and a whole display. But uh, hopefully we'll get that figured out. And um, yeah, we'll get there on time and everything will be awesome. So stay tuned. All right, so ridiculously enough, this is where we've been put, which is literally right at the entrance. It's unbelievable. It's like one of the best spots you can get here. And uh, I'm just about set up. I'm getting a video ready to roll, but uh, we are making great progress. It looks awesome so far. It's totally stoked. All right, guys, we are officially set up at the Lit Show. It's exactly what I had hoped for. I've got the monitor so you guys can hear the lovely sounds of the engine on a loop. And I've got the motor. And uh, yeah, I'm totally stoked about the whole thing. Let's go. Well, dudes, that was that. Uh, my adrenaline is finally starting to come down. I'm starting to get really tired. But uh, we are packing the booth up now. It went really well. Super psyched about today. And, um, and all the people that made this thing happen, which I'm gonna list right here on the screen, were instrumental in making this work. So sincere thank you to every single one of you that helped me with all of this. Definitely a team effort. It was crazy to get here and make it happen and get the thing done and a logistical craziness. So yeah, awesome. Um, I'm not sure if I'm done with this video yet. I think I might have a little bonus coming your way. So stay tuned in a few. All right, we are strapped down on the way home. And uh, while we were there, Mark picked up this ridiculously rad new exhaust. So that is gonna look so killer on his car. And uh, that's it. That's gonna be a wrap for the Lit Show. I can't believe it. But the engine is back in the wrench garage, which is obviously destroyed. But huge news, my tire for the Grey Ghost that I've been waiting for literally for over a year has just come in while I've been at the Lit Show. So we're gonna jam over to Performance Tire right now, get it mounted up and switch these wheels. So these Blasphemy Build wheels go back onto the Blasphemy Build and I can actually put my lovely Michelin TB15s back on the Grey Ghost. Then we're gonna jam down to some Lit Show stuff and I will hopefully be able to take you guys there for a little fun uh, amongst all this work. So hopefully we can make this thing happen and the people can change the tires quickly as humanly possible. All right, we're here at Performance Plus here in Long Beach. This place has all kinds of awesome stuff. They deal with a lot of race car stuff as well. And most importantly, they've just mounted my tire. I've already mounted the other three. That's the fourth. Let's get her on. Guys, for the first time in a year and a half, the real wheels are back on my car. Look, man, I love these and they're gonna be amazing on the Blasphemy build, but they were just complete and utter dog poo on the Grey Ghost. And now the proper wheels are back on. Let me pull this out and give you guys a nice little view. There it is. There it is, guys. There's the old Grey Ghost that we know and love. Look at those wheels. Those are the right wheels. Those are the right size. 15 by 9, 15 by 11, 340s in the rear. Blowing oil like there's no tomorrow. That's the car we know and love, everybody. Yeah. All right, let's go do Porsche stuff. Guess what, guys? I made it here to European Collectibles which is just a sea of eye candy everywhere. Like I said. Uh, I will take you guys on like a car by car tour, but I'm gonna get a taco. All right guys, I'm gonna give you a quick out and back tour of California Porsches, which is just ridiculous. It's just a, a who's who of awesomeness. So let's go, let's take a little tour. So this place is uh, European Collectibles. I misspoke, it's not California Porsches. That's across the street. But they've got an amazing impeccable shop. And they have incredible 
cars, just a line, you just name it. Like any color that you can imagine a Porsche to be, they have them all and they're for sale. Including insane Carrera Turbo 930s in this insane brown. And they're sort of versions of singers, but not really. But they're kind of. <laughs> and you guys tell me in the comments which of these cars if you could pick one right now which would you pick which would be the car you would pick to take home this is 356 Phil but look at this you've got three different shades of blue with red interior 356 speedsters or twin gill yeah, twin grill roadsters there's a couple of hammers on the way back I'll show you. I love this one. Look at that color. So rad. Come on now. That is stone gray over red. Just for fun, here's a 918 Spider. By the way, this is how I'm doing the graphics on the Blasphemy build, but we'll get back to that another time. Let's keep her circling, keep her circling. All right. Kind of a new situation and then it is off to ferrari land we've got a cobra and then a couple of insane ferraris Which one would you choose? Look at this black on black. Ugh, look at the paint. That's ridiculous. It's liquid. Good lord. Good lordy my. Ooh, let's go with a little diet kizzy here. I'll take that. Love the patina on this one. Check out that patina. One of my faves. This whole shop is so clean and amazing. It's very easy for me to forget that not everybody has access to this kind of stuff. You know, we take a tremendous amount of crap being in California, but there's no higher density of vintage Porsches and the like, including some of these amazing shops. I could have gone to any one of 15 shops like this today and gotten the same kind of amazing cars. So I hope you enjoyed that little out and back. Well guys, that is the end of a very epic weekend for me and the trashed garage. Before I sign off, I did promise you some blasphemy build content. For those of you who don't know this car, this was a 69 911S race car that I've converted back into a street car and I've done a lot of crazy stuff to it. This part being one of my favorite things that I've done. I basically split a Porsche 964 deck lid in half because I wanted to make active aero that was sort of invisible. Now this needs a lot of work and a lot of buttoning up to make it look the way I want it to, but functionality looks fantastic. I have to thank Joshua M. Davis. Uh, here's his Instagram right now. He also has that company. I've been wearing that NAR hat with the neon on it. I don't know where it is in my house right now, but, but um, go follow him, follow his company. I put it right here and uh, definitely check him out. And without further ado, Check out one of the coolest parts of the Blasphemy build, the active aero mechanism that Josh literally created from scratch and did all the engineering on and the laser cutting and everything. It even has my logo in the hinges. It's so freaking cool. So enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. This is the very loose fit right now, but look at the awesomeness as I flip the switch and just get a load of these. Come on. Carbon fiber arms, dual linear actuators, 
this part will all be like beautiful and cleaned up. I have a whole bunch of stuff to do. And my ultimate goal is to have this be carbon fiber. It's not quite there yet, but we are getting closer and closer. How cool. Come on now. What do you want? Stop it. Just stop it with yourselves. It basically comes up to an angle of a ducktail when it's fully extended. And then I'll have the uh, air scoop here feeding the intercooler that will be in the engine compartment. So that'll pop up automatically from the hull tech at like 40 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, come on now. Imagine this like as a really cool carbon fiber piece when the tail goes up. That's kind of the vision, but we'll see. Super stoked about it though. With that, we will see you next time.